Hello everyone, I'm the Panchi and I welcome you to my channel. So how you guys doing? I really hope that you all are good and you're enjoying your Tuesday. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys that how I went from this to this in just a few minutes. So let's get started. So starting with the skincare, I'm gonna use this serum from Biotech. So this is their Bio Morning Nectar Face Serum and I'll be applying it evenly on my face and my neck. For my next step, I'm gonna use a moisturizer. So this one is from Cetaphil and I'll be applying it all over my face. Moisturizer will help in providing that smoother look to your skin and that glowy base. For priming up our face, I'm gonna use this primer from Nykaa. So I'll be taking a little bit of it and apply it all over my face so that my pores are closed. So now I'm going to use this concealer from Swiss Beauty and I'll be applying a concealer all over my dark circles, my eyelids and all over the area wherever I have pigmentation or acne or dark spots. So you can use a brush or any damp sponge to blend out the concealer evenly so that no creases are there. So for my foundation, I'm going to use this foundation from Wet n Wild and I'm in the shade Amber Beige. So I'll be applying it with the help of a brush and then I'll be blending it out with the help of a brush. You can use a damp sponge as well to blend out the foundation. So this is more of a close up look so that you can see my base. So next step is to set your foundation and your concealer. So for that, I'm using this loose powder from Swiss Beauty. Just make sure that you are not applying it all over your face, but onto the area which is the most oily on your skin. Coming on to the brows, I'm using this brow pencil from Nykaa. This is pretty good and uh, I'll be first filling in my brows and then with the help of a spoolie which is attached in the back, of this brow pencil I'll be blending it out when we are done with the brows we will move on to our eyeshadow so I'm using this eyeshadow palette from Maybelline this is the lemonade craze eyeshadow palette first of all I'm gonna use this yellow color and I'll be applying it on the upper area of my crease and then with the help of a brown color i'll be applying it all over my eyelid you can use other combos as well whichever you prefer using so here i chose yellow and brown because they blend so beautifully with each other so that is why i chose it so when we are done with the matte shades i'm gonna add a little bit of shimmer shades so here i'm using this brownish shimmer shade from the same palette and i'll be applying it in the inner to the little of my crease area and then i will just apply it on the other eye as well here i'm using another shade which is a bit lighter than the earlier one and I'm applying it in the inner corner so time for some eyeliner here i'm using this eyeliner from maybelline and applying it with the help of my angular brush this is pretty easy to apply as you can see how beautiful it looks how the eyeliner changes your makeup game so that is why i love using eyeliner on my eyes so here you see so after my eyeliner i also applied the mascara but i seriously forgot to turn on the camera at that time so i'm so sorry for that so for my lower lash line i'm going to use two shades of brown from the same eyeshadow palette first i'll be using the lighter brown on my lower lash line and then i'll blend it with the darker brown on top of it so moving on to the best part of doing makeup which is to apply blush as much as you can so here i'm using this blush from wet n wild and it has these little shimmer particles which is really pop up your blush so i'm gonna apply it all over my cheeks my nose and my chin so 
for my next step, I'm gonna use this highlighter from Nykaa and I'm gonna use the pink shade from it. So with the help of a brush, I'm gonna apply it all over my high zones. You can use your fingers as well to apply a highlighter. If you want, you can also use the highlighter in the inner corner of your eye or on the brow bone. So here we are done with the highlighter as well. This really looks amazing. So for my lips here, I'm using this lip pencil from I do not know what brand it is. I think I bought it from a local market. So first of all, I'm gonna outline my lips um, and then I'll be blending it out with the help of my finger. And when I'm done with that, I'll move on to my lipstick. So here I'm using this lipstick from Color Essence and uh, this shade is pretty good. And I'll be applying it all over my lips and the result that i get after blending my lip liner and then applying the lip shade is just amazing so this is a final look but i think that this dress is not for party so let's change Ta-da! so this is the dress that i chose for the party look so here i'm also styling my hair i am using this curling row to curl some of my hair and i've tied a high ponytail So here we are done with the whole look as you can see how beautiful it looks how subtle it looks and these earrings just add the missing part to this look so here we are done with the video I hope that you like this video and if you did then do give it a thumbs up comment your reviews in the comment section below I'll be watching you in my next video till then take care of yourself bye